Hello. Happy Monday. Welcome to this morning's Monday Morning Style Session. So excited to talk about shopping at Chico's and Loft this morning um, by popular request. If you have a store that you want, I've already had many others come in, um, Old Navy and Taylor. Um, I've just been getting White House Black Market. Let me know where you want me to shop next in the um, in the comments here. So I'm going to be doing these um, some more this the next couple of weeks, a short like 10 minute videos where I just cover one store in those videos. But let's hop right away into Chico's. First, though, I want to share that um, Reverse Closet Edit and Wardrobe Building Bootcamp is um, still available for this this next session um, we're kicking off and this is one of those programs that you can start and stop anytime you can pause um, whenever you want you can um, you can go at your own pace but it's something I definitely recommend starting fall with so that you can get your wardrobe where you want it to be before you make any of these new fun purchases so it's neticmanly.com slash bootcamp you can look in the comments also there's a link there okay let's go into Chico's um, I am excited to see what I can find. I've been pretty impressed by Chico's the last couple of seasons. I feel like they've really updated um, what they're doing. Okay, I'm not, I'm already not super excited here. I, okay, you guys know how I feel about ponchos. Um, yes, this works in this model who is like, I don't know, strolling the streets of Santa Fe in this beautiful you know, this beautiful look, and she's wearing very slim pants. But this is a very hard look to pull off. There is just no way to wear that without it adding volume. It just really does add volume. So unless you're really tall and slim, just be careful with the ponchos. Oh, okay, new arrivals. We're gonna look at new arrivals. If you have, the thing about Chico's and White House Black Market is that their clothes are so identifiable, their statement pieces are so identifiable from season to season that they date quickly. So this is the Drama Ruana. This is the piece I was talking about. This is going to say September 2023 Chico's. Like it's it's just dates really quickly. This, on the other hand, this faux leather blazer is fabulous. And the croc print, oh my goodness. You know, leather, everything, it's always a fall, always a fall staple. But um, yeah, especially now, uh, this season, fall um, 2023, is all about leather. It's taking a while for this page to load. Okay. Um, the turtleneck is fine. That whole look is really, really nice. These, these are pont trim detailed pants. Love this tie, wrap tie belt. That's really, really nice. Um, I like that buckle detail on it. It looks like it would also be adjustable, which is always nice. This by floral topper. Okay, I don't know what they're doing with these black and white prints, but these are not. I like the fabric. I like the fabric. Okay, it looks better like there in the back than it does in this picture. Okay, this is fine. This is just going to be one of those statement pieces. It, it is a personality piece. If that suits your personality, I, I do like that piece. I also love this faux leather coat. That's fabulous. But this top, it, the combination here of the pattern and the the style, this is not this is not okay. So a little bit of that black and white pattern on that jacket looked really cool. All over on this pullover sweater, not not so cool. Another nice leather. They've got some really nice leather pieces. Okay, so for those of you who like the look of leather but don't like the feel of leather, these coated denim pieces are going to be the way to go this season. I'm so glad coated denim is, is back because I think it's such a fabulous and easy way to wear that leather-ish look without it without wearing leather. These are really, really nice jeans, the high-rise wide leg jeans. Love it. Love the leather coated denim skirt there. That's awesome. The no, no stretch, no iron stretch shirt. Okay, this is a problem with this shirt. Let me tell you what it is. It looks like a classic, but it, it's really pretty fitted. And these fitted tops like this, the fitted button down tops look a little mannish, but they also just don't look modern. I like that they added French cuffs to this, but you really want a white top that is slouchy a little bit because that's, that's the look we're going for, not this fitted 
not this fitted without being super tailored. Like this is just that kind of in between. Now you're gonna get either really fitted and polished and crisp, or you're gonna get an oversized white blouse. This is somewhere in between and that's not, that's not cute. Say no to the iCat clip dot crinkle shirt. This is really nice, the tweed jacket blazer, that's nice. Okay, this is the kind of thing that, that these brands do all the time that kind of drives me crazy. This is not a modern top. Like, I kind of wish Sutash, I mean, maybe maybe that's going to come in style. I'm not seeing it anywhere else. But they they create these really overly embellished pieces that, that become, if this is very much your style, maybe. But, like, the, the combination to me of that trim and then the shape and everything just looks very um, dated. Now, interestingly... The, the black and white pattern works very well on this dress. So it's, it's, it's a lot of times when people ask about patterns, I'm like, well, it depends. And that's because it's the pattern placement and the type of item that it's on that can make a really big difference. Okay, this is a no. I don't look, like pieces like that, that's just a super... I would just say no to that. Okay, I think that that can work. That leopard blouse can work if it's worn in a modern way. It's no to the burnout sleeve thing. See, there's just so much. Okay, this is touch of cool line square neck T. This is not cool. That's not cool. That is. That is not cute. So the pants are awesome that she's wearing it with, the sailor style pants. We're seeing a lot of them this season here in this picture. Those are really, really cool. The shirt is not. The shirt is, is this is that blah blouse I was talking about. It's just very boring and very basic and, and, and not cute. Um, it would be better without the pattern, but it still wouldn't be good. Like that's just, so she's got the three quarter length sleeve and, and not a modern square neck top, but just kind of a matronly square neck top. And then it's out and it's the wrong length. So I would say definitely no to that. This, on the other hand, now this is a cool, they've been doing all these statement sleeves here on Chico's, and this is the first cool one I've seen. That is a really cool statement sleeve. That is a fabulous top. If you want a going out top or a special occasion top for the holidays, that's just beautiful. That's beautiful. So choose that, not the soutache, and I would say even skip the um, the crochet lace sleeves. Like this, this would be the way to go. I'm a little worried about seeing this. It looks like it has potential. Let's see if they added something that makes it not have potential. No, that's actually a cool top. That's a cool top. See, that's a modern pattern. It's a cool um, fabric. It's a cool shape. So that one checks all the boxes. The floral short kimono, I would say no to that. Okay. The cool soutache pullover sweater. These these are, I don't know wh why they're single-handedly single trying to bring the soutache trend back. I wore a dress that was a, I, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, Sutash. It was a white, like, mini dress to a uh, formal in college, but this is not back. This, I feel like, no to that. That is very much going to look, it's going to look matronly. Also, say no to the tie front shirt. This is the same lovely pattern that was on this shirt up here, the shimmery crinkle tee, but in the tie front shirt, it, it does not look good. Neutral floral jacket cardigan. Oh look, okay, the poplin crop shirt, that is a that's a good silhouette. Now you want to define your waist, but you don't want to tuck. This is really nice. And notice it's a little slouch here. That's a very cool shirt. That's awesome. Um, also this leather tie belt, that's fabulous. This dress, just I would just say maybe just skip the traveler stuff completely for the most part unless something changes. Until further notice. Um This isn't bad. I just would still prefer the tweed. I think the tweed looks much better. But if you love that, that is an option. Okay, one more page on Chica's. No to the everyday button tunic. No to the touch of cool layering tee. Yes to the tweed coat again. That is fabulous. Look at that. This is, this is one of the trends of the seasons, like a little tweed jacket like this. I think that's a really nice one. 
that's really nice. Nick and Zoe also does a really good version of that. Um, let's look at this column dress. It's in that pattern that I liked on the other item. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that's workable. I actually like that dress, and long dresses, like especially almost maxi length dresses, are, are really having, they're a big trend for fall. I like this dress. The sleeves work much better on this dress. than See, there's a maxi dress. That's a great maxi dress for fall. Again, it's one of the key items for the season. This is a much better option for a white shirt. This is a much better white shirt than the other one that I showed you that was like too fitted. I don't like their color block sweaters. I don't think that they look modern at all. These jeans with the embellishments are a problem. Oh my goodness. Skip the embellished jeans like this. No, 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 no. That is not a good, those are not good. This cutwork full leather jacket, I think that's nice. This floral jacquard cardigan, no. This laser embroidered top, that's nice. No pull on ankle pants, or no pull on jeans at all. No pull on jeans at all, like they're not good. They don't have, they're not, those are not real jeans. Um, let's just stick to like actual denim. This top is, that is not, that is not great. I would absolutely skip that. There's a, a bunch of stuff in this type of pattern this season at Chico's and I would totally skip that. No, no. Um, okay, these are, these are all the new arrivals. I'm just trying to see if they have before I leave because I know that Chico's is um, a go-to for a lot of you. I love that wide leg thing. I just want to see what they're they're saying. Their fall lookbook. Let's look at what they've got going on there. Okay, they're making that top work there, but of course, again, it's the model. Um, I do love the that black and white dress with the leather jacket. That's a very cool look. Here is that uh, Phi topper. Um, works well over like I would wear it in a very casual way I would wear it with jeans like and a t-shirt I feel like it would look more modern that way these pants are a definite problem and then that t sweater is also a problem I don't like that don't like that sweater but I do love the leather I actually really like this black and white top with the fun sleeves like the tweed jacket like that turtleneck Skip the ponchos. That's a cool dress. Say no to the vest. These no iron tops are nice, but just stick with the solid colors. No pattern and no weird thing going on in the collar. Okay, so that is Chico's. Now let's go look at Loft. Spend a little bit more time on Chico's than I meant to um but loft is having 50 percent off um 50 percent off everything if you use code cyber they're having their cyber fall 50 percent off that is ridiculous huge um so let's look at their new arrivals i can't believe everything is 50 percent off okay i love 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 the sweater jacket this is their answer to the lady jacket from j crew that i really like this is kind of the jacket cardigan hybrid silhouette of the season this is significantly cheaper than j crew so something to look at i also love these somebody said that flare pants are harder to find this season but this is a great pair from loft and i've noticed um, that gap also has a really nice pair these are the five pocket flare pants and plaid by stretch i i love that i like this henley top i'm obviously not going to have as much of a problem as loft loft is definitely more contemporary very much like this sweater dress. Love this Henley sweatshirt. Love this Henley shift dress. You know, I think it's it's long dress season, or long sleeve dress season right now. And this is just a really nice, easy throw on and go dress. Um, 
I like that v-neck top I like the shirt dress and the plaid shirt those wide leg pants and corduroy those are fabulous corduroy is also having a moment this season I'm still trying to wrap my brain around it let me know what you guys think are you are you in the corduroy camp or not in the corduroy camp so there are, it's a little hard to wear here in Florida although I do wear faux leather so there's that um, okay I like this dress this dress works best if you do not have a belly but you're straighter through your body but do not have a belly that could be a good option That's a nice dress too. The relax pocket sweater blazer. You always want to look at everything in all the colors available so you can get a, a real um, accurate picture of it. Crep everyday shirt, that's nice. The cargo pants and satin. Cargo pants are a big, big thing this season. Um, I would skip the, you know, that, car, that specific cargo pants if you don't love the outside of your thigh area there because that is you know, a detail that's gonna draw attention there. Collared sweaters, another big trend this season, and this is an, this is going to be so affordable. At half off, it's going to be $30. Um, I love this Bollinger sweater. If you like, if you want a graphic tee that's actually a sweater, that's a great option. Um, I would skip these. These are going to be really hard. The Pintuck Frayed High Rise Kick Crop Jeans. These are going to be, that's a really hard silhouette to wear. You pretty much have to be this woman to wear it. I would also skip this Lou and Gray Jacquard sweater. Not, not a cute option. The satin bias midi skirt, can't go wrong with that. You guys know that's always on my list. Um, I love this Pontel ribbed ruffle top. That's super cute. Full leather pants, very cute. Turtleneck, nice basic. Um, this high, so we're seeing more, I'm seeing more dark denim come in again. So I think it's a great option for fall and I think these are nice. I love this tipped cardigan. I love tipped pieces anyway. This is a great blazer dress. So it's a, that's a really nice choice for an office party, but it's really going to be one of those pieces, even though they're sort of trending right now, they'll never go out of style and it's a great cocktail um, or dressy dress option to have in your wardrobe um, just to pull out when you need it. Love the rib polo sweater. This skirt is a nice option. I have not seen a skirt like this in a while, but this is especially going to be nice for um, red, blue, purple, and yellow body types. Do not love this geo cinched ruffle neck top. I don't love that pattern. I think that's a boring pattern. And it's better to have a solid than a boring pattern. Like the striped sweater. Um, love that blouse, the leopard blouse. The ponte pocket, button pocket dress. That's a great work dress that's not boring. That's a cool work dress. You know how we were talking about sheets sometimes being hard to find? That's a, that's a nice one. It's got nice elevated details on it and a great shape. Great BV neck jumpsuit. You know, I'm a jumpsuit girl. Um, this is a really nice one. It's polished, it's one piece. This is a great option for those of you who don't love to wear dresses because you don't love to show your legs or for whatever reason you don't love to wear dresses, a jumpsuit could be a great option. I love the ribbed midi polo dress. This is gonna be, um, it's gonna show a little bit more of the tummy area, so just keep that in mind, but that's beautiful. If you have more shape in the lower half of your body and not in your tummy, that's gonna be fabulous. Leopard print bias skirt. There's another leopard skirt. Okay, this is a shorter version. So if you, you know, you think the midi skirts are, or the silk skirts are, slip, slip skirts that I talk about all the time are nice, but you don't want a longer one, that's a really nice one. Um, love these long sleeve, like thin turtlenecks. Those are really, really nice for layering. Palazzo jeans. These are high rise palazzo jeans. Okay, I need to look at these. They do not look like jeans. They look like interesting. These are like a trouser jean. That is a very interesting jean. I think if those, those fit you and are flattering, I think that could be a really nice option. Huh, very interesting. Okay, there's that skirt again. This satin wrap midi dress is a really, really flattering dress. It's flattering on everybody, but it's especially flattering on blue, yellow, and purple body types. It really adds waist definition. This is their answer to the perennial favorite from Dillard's, that the Antonio Milani Roxanne dress. They come out with it every year. It's about $200, so with the 50% off, this dress is gonna be $50, and I, very much recommend checking out this dress. It's good. it's it really is flattering on everybody. Love this faux leather dress. Um, 
just a uh, spoiler alert tomorrow's video on um, 12 items to buy and why um, I have a leather dress as an option um, something as an update excuse the kitty cat meowing in the background um, the tipped v-neck pocket cardigan is awesome I love that um, I like the plaid sweater blazer these jeans with a crossover this crisscross waist high-rise straight jeans okay so what's cool about that detail as as unconventional as it seems is it actually does a really good job um creating waist definition so if that's something you're looking for that that can be an option um love this two-tone ribbed polo sweater I'm trying to see if there are things i do not like there are not that many things i do not like here love these pants this this pant silhouette i talked about it in another video is that that flowy um, high-rise trouser pant is is a big big thing for um, for fall okay the sat satin cowl neck shell if you're comfortable with your neck that's beautiful and very very elegant looks a lot more expensive than it is okay Julie you asked me about this du leather double-breasted blazer this is fabulous fabulous I absolutely love it um, just a beautiful beautiful blazer Love this polo sweater dress. I think that is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, here we go. These are things I do not like. I do not, and I'm, I'm you know, always very aware that I have personal, obviously my personal style is not gonna play a role in my selections. I'm looking at these on the basis of like what's modern and what's gonna work on, on you, not on me because I have my own preferences, right? These patterns, now this first one, um, this is the best of the bunch. In the olive, this is gonna be the most modern, and of course they've styled it the most modern. Um, yeah, this is okay, so if this is your style, this would be a way to go. This on the other hand, in the black, that's just not a modern dress. Now, yeah, she's adorable and she looks great in it, but that pattern is, is not a good pattern. Same with this, this tee, not a good pattern. Now this, on the other hand, this pattern is really, really nice. The ruched flare dress, very nice. The, um, that blouse is fine. Oh, this is a nice graphic tee. I think graphic tees are a little bit hard to find this season and that's a nice one. Let me look, take a closer look at this pattern and see what I think of it. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's nice. That's got the peplum that's having a moment right now. So if you do want to wear your tops a little longer, try to find a peplum like that. It's also really flattering for the tummy area. It just kind of hides everything. That paisley pattern, is that the same paisley pattern as up here? Looks better in this blouse. It looks better in this blouse. I don't love it still, but it looks better in this blouse. I love this brushed funnel neck jacket. Okay, gonna get through these. This foulard puff sleeve midi dress, this is very, very hard to wear. And this floral flutter sleeve top. Oh, and the faux suede le leggings. Look, we've got all the hard things in one place right here. So the leggings, of course, you can wear those. You're not going to wear them with something tucked in like they showed here. I don't know what the heck is going on there. <laughs> that needs to be with like a long cozy sweater and then they would totally work. This blouse, very boring pattern. I do not love this. But this dress is what I'm going to end with because this is an example of what I talked about. This model is beautiful. She's styling it beautifully with knee-high boots. It looks fabulous the way she's wearing it. That is a very, very hard dress to wear in real life. It's a very hard dress to wear in real life. Um, it's just going to look very overwhelming on a lot of us, and it's going to look very matronly. Like this is, you know, if, if, if they wanted to age a character in a movie, they would put her in this dress. And so I would say that's that's one of the front beat pieces. Oh my gosh. I am going to wrap up, but that just say no to that plaid flounce shirt dress i love this style if um it can look really really good if it's in solid or uh, a different pattern but with that with that plaid i feel like that is very very hard to wear if you like plaid a lot 
um, stick with that plaid pleated midi skirt. I think that's fabulous. And I actually really like this flutter sleeve top in the middle. Ooh, this on the other hand, the stripe, that is really, really, really nice. And that's that same midi dress with that draping that I was talking about earlier that looks like the Roxanne dress from Antonio Milani in that stripe pattern. That is a fabulous menswear inspired pattern with a little, a little pop to it that I, I love. Okay, that top is fine. I love this one, the shimmer garden flutter sleeve top. That's a beautiful top. And I love this cable puff sleeve v-neck cardigan top. That's just a great option as like a, kind of a cross between a sweater and a top for fall. Okay, oh, so many other things. Love this space dyed v-neck cardigan. But I have to wrap up. I know I have kept you longer than I expected, but so much stuff to cover at... Um, love this dress at Loft and at Chico's. Let me know where you want me to cover next. And um, again, as always, um, I would encourage you to join the boot camp so you can get your closet in order before buying anything new for fall. Um, just go to netamanly.com slash boot camp. Of course, there's a link to all of my favorite items from these stores um, in a catalog um, that's linked in the comments as well. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.